They resist and feel annoyed. They hate. They hate. Wait, what? <laughs> Hello, everyone. My name is Luminitsa, your gateway to women's brains and hearts. So, if you want to know more of what and why women think and feel, subscribe to this channel and let's get started. On this channel, I always try to collect and share the best dating pieces of advice for you, dear men. But surprise, surprise, this channel is not the only one who gives you this kind of information. That's why today I decided to go to TikTok and react to some of the most viral videos or viral TikToks that give you a piece of advice how to be with a girl, how to be in a relationship. And as a female dating coach for men, I will give you my opinion if they make sense, if it's stupid, you should follow this or not. But before we start, a very short disclaimer. The goal of this video is to give you the access to the best information so that you have the best tips and you know what works and what doesn't. I don't intend to be rude or disrespectful to any of these creators. Everyone has the right to have his or her own opinion. Um, I don't know them personally. I will not attack their personality. I will discuss purely the content of the videos that they publicly put on TikTok. This being said, let's start with the very first one. Three ways you can make yourself look more attractive. That's a great topic. Let's see how we can do this or how you can do this. Three ways you can make yourself look more attractive. Number one, how you walk. You walk like this. That's not attractive. Instead of doing that, do this. When you have your chest out and your shoulders down, it makes you look more attractive. Number two, eye contact. Um, before we go to the eye contact, I'm already looking forward to see what he says, but uh, I totally agree. If um, you walk like this, this is a more close body language, um, which means that you're not secure. When it comes to the shoulders, if your shoulders are relaxed in the back, your chest is forward, this means that you are confident. This means that you have nothing to hide and you put yourself out there, which consequently makes you more attractive. Let's say there's a beautiful woman passing you. What you don't want to do is... Okay, she gone. Look her in her eyes, show her that you're dominant. And don't be the first one to look away. Number three, do me a favor. Um, about the eye contact, um, obviously, if you're always looking the different directions. This means you're not confident enough, which also makes you a little bit nervous. And some girls might find it cute, uh, not attractive, he's right, but maybe cute. Uh, when it comes to don't be the one who looks away, I believe that you know that it can be creepy if you stare to some people, but again, this can be to some extent a very good tip. Um, very first TikTok, I'm not disappointed at me talk. I hope I said this right. I, I give this TikTok a like. I think it's a good tip. The next TikTok is, are you the red flag? Let's find it out. I can't commit to a day I can see you. Red flag. Hey, sexy. Red flag. I'm still living with my ex. We're just friends. Red flag. I'm just super busy right now. Red flag. <laughs> I really, I really, really like this. Um, the love addict coach. Um, that's a great, great TikTok. Um, I also have a video about red flags when it comes to women. If you're interested, you can find it out here. But um, yeah, if um, someone cannot find any time to meet with you or is constantly busy, I also said in my other video, I get it, we're all busy, but if someone is always canceling everything the last minute or it's always not available, that's a red flag, that's a sign that she doesn't like you, um, just leave it and move on. Um, hey sexy, this is cute, this is cool, this is flirty when you already know the person or this can be flirty when, I don't know, you are at a beach party and everyone has fun and you can say like, hey sexy or something like that in a more funny way. But if you DM a girl that you don't know randomly, hey sexy, 
that's creepy, that's a red flag. Okay, the next TikTok has something to do with manipulation. Let's see if we learn something very useful out of it. This is a very dirty trick to figure out whether somebody likes you and... I mean, you should know about it, maybe you shouldn't use it because... It's also known as the... Um, just a little thing, you know, on this channel we love this topic to find out if someone likes you. Uh, I have high hopes, I have high hopes for this TikTok, uh, that it's so manipulative, so dirty trick. Let's see um, if uh, it turns out to be as useful. I really have high, high hopes, especially it has hashtag psychology and I love it. Brightest. If they are in fact into you and you start crying, they will do anything, anything at all to stop those tears running down your face <laughs> because they will feel sympathy. However, if they resist and feel annoyed, they hate. Wait, what? <laughs> okay, I'm a little bit confused because how this should be a sign that someone likes you or is into you if i walk right now on the street and i randomly start crying if there are strangers who have sympathy or empathy even they will ask me if i'm okay although they don't i'm almost sure they don't have any romantic feelings for me because they're strangers so is this a test that someone is a little bit empathetic or curious or is just a human being yes is this a test that someone likes you or is into you no and next we have some texting tips from a guy let's see if we can learn something out of it fellas you never ever want to text a woman these things right here the first thing is wyd what you doing you have to understand that she just got that same message a hundred times a day on Facebook, Snapchat, and Instagram, and in her messages, and you don't want to blend in with the rest of the bozos. Instead, ask her things like, what are you up to? What are you into right now? What was the highlight of your day? I know it's subtle, but it makes a huge difference. Now, the next thing you never want to... Before we go to the next thing, I totally agree. Uh, this what's up or WID. Um, he said it right uh, but i also want to give you a piece of advice i don't know if he mentions it next i think not maybe um but if you text a girl if you flirt with a girl if you text a girl that you don't know if you don't want to be friends with her but it's something more give or invest some three more seconds and write the whole word and not just wyd um, or any abbreviations because um, this might sound silly because yeah now in the texting age we all use abbreviations and that's true um, but let's agree there is a difference between um, when you get TYSM or thank you so much the message the the end message is the same but it feels like the person put more meaning in these words if he or she wrote the whole word so thank you so much has more weight more importance than um t y s m although they both have the same end message text a woman is when she texts you and asks you what are you doing or what are you up to you never want to respond with oh i ain't doing nothing oh i'm just chilling i ain't got nothing going on right now that is the fastest way to show a woman that you don't respect and value your time and if you don't respect and value your time she won't either instead say shit like i'm cleaning my room getting my laundry together i'm relaxing because i just got done working i'm prepping for tomorrow always be up to something and besides you don't want to give off the vibe that you're a stagnant bum with nothing going on in your life click the link in my bio and subscribe to my youtube uh, i totally agree and i like the way he formulated it and the reasons that he gave because i would not lie about what i'm doing in order to create the sense of oh i'm so busy i'm such a businessman i'm such a busy man uh, and when she's asking you what you're up to you'll be like oh i um you know just closed 
three deals and I'm so super successful um, I would not do go to this extreme because this doesn't feel authentic however if you always say like I'm doing nothing just chilling um, first of all what next there is no um, chance for her to continue the conversation in the sense that if you're saying just chilling okay so what now if you're saying oh i'm reading you give her the opportunity to ask you the next question what are you reading and then you have the conversation rolling and um the reason that he gave um that you should tell her that oh i'm doing something um as the sense that oh i value my time that's why i'm not just laying around this is a good tip generally do things don't just lay around all in all these were five of the most viral tiktok videos about dating and relationship when pieces of advice is towards this all uh, if you want to see more of these videos let me know about it in the comment section below maybe you can send me there some videos from youtube or tiktok or instagram and i'll include them in the next reaction video if you liked this video don't forget to give it a thumbs up click on the bell button to get notified every single time when a new pieces of content appear on this channel if you don't want to wait till the next time to see me you want to watch more and more videos of me you can click here and here click here to subscribe this way you will support and motivate me to create more and more up until then thank you once again for watching and see you next time with new tips new videos new reactions bye